what's up family welcome to a new video if you are new here welcome pause this video and hit that subscribe button down below we know you will love it here you might as well just make it a decision to stay with us we welcome you and for our returning subscribers what's up family how are you thank you for clicking on another video we truly appreciate you uh, so I have Munchkin here. She's down here on her pillow, chilling. If she fusses, we will pick her up and keep on going. That's what we do. Um, but as you can tell from the title, this video is all about infant must-haves. So the things I'm going to mention are only things that worked for us. Um, we had a lot of things that uh, we thought were must-haves. Um, based off of other videos that I watched, based off of um, other children, right? I have other kids, things that worked for our other kids. And we all know that every child is different. So what worked for one, what works for one child is not necessarily going to work for another. So what works for us and for our daughter may not work for you and your child. Um, so please take these as suggestions. Um, they may not all work for you. Uh, what we did find is that some things we purchased and they didn't work for us. And then we found alternatives that worked. Um, um, and, but some of these things you, you, you need in your life and your baby needs in their life too. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so a few of these things I do not have, so I'm going to pop the pictures up on the screen. Um, so the first thing that I have here is a baby carrier. Um, if you are a first-time mom, um, if you are a mom of several, right, you know that it is essential for you to be able to use your hands, right, especially when that baby's sleeping. Um, and sometimes if you got a baby like mine, um, that does not like to sleep on her own most of the time. Uh, having a carrier is the perfect way for me to have her close to me um, and to have my hands free. Uh, so if you watch some of our other videos, um, we had a video where we had gone apple picking and the video after that was us making apple pie and um, some candy apples, caramel apples. I had her in the carrier for just a little bit. She's a baby that doesn't really like carriers or seats or chairs or anything like that. So um, it's a little difficult, but I was able to have her in the carrier for a little bit and still able to do some things with my other kids. So a carrier, hands-free, you need that. Um, other thing to be hands-free while we're talking about hands-free, a hands-free pump. So I have the Spectra, I think it's the S2, um, but it's the, it's the one that is not hands-free. Spectra does have a pump that is hands-free. Um, and I would suggest that one um, because you need a hands-free pump. Now, I do have the Mom Cozy, and this is for another video, so I won't go into too much detail. I do have the Mom Cozy pump. Um, that's a hands-free pump. You can, you know, you put it in your bra and all that stuff. It doesn't work the best. Um, but this is a hospital-grade pump, the Spectra. So if you can get it hands-free, get that. Um, with medical insurance, I know that um, the hands-free spectra pump you have to pay it's either 50 or 70 dollars um extra um because it's it's considered an upgrade um so if you have the 50 to 70 dollars i suggest you upgrade um i don't mind sitting in my chair and pumping i have my pump next to my couch so i don't mind sitting there and pumping um and having baby girl and all that stuff but i would like um, a hands-free pump so i may um upgrade at some point but that's another story for another day because she don't really take bottles either. So, um, next thing, humidifier. Now, a humidifier is good for all peoples, right? And all children. Uh, we have a Vicks humidifier for our boys um, that comes in clutch whenever they're sick and even when they're not. Um, but uh, baby girl, she, you know, you can kind of hear, uh, not for every baby, but for her, we could hear that she was a little congested um, after we had brought her home. So uh, the humidifier was amazing. We have a small room humidifier and I'll pop up a picture on the screen. Um, so it would be, we would need a bigger one, um, but the one that we have, it works, it works well. Uh, so a humidifier you need. Um, the next thing I'm going to mention, um, the next two things, actually, I didn't, I don't, I don't remember if I watched a video that mentioned these as infant must haves, but now that we've gotten into like the colder months, um, and that we've been outside more, 
I realize that these are must-haves, like I need them. Um, so the first thing, and so this I don't have yet, I have to order it, um, but it's a plastic rain cover. Now, for both of my other children, I had them, so I don't know why I didn't think that I would need a plastic rain cover for the stroller um, for her, but we do. Um, and what made me realize it was um, Elijah plays football, and the rain cover is good for rain, yes, but it's also good to kind of trap the heat inside. Um, and so it's been a little cold because their game's at night. So it's been a little chilly. So I'm like, oh, I need a, uh, the plastic rain cover. So that way I can cover her up. The, it traps the heat inside. She's nice and warm. It has the vent. You can open that up and stuff like that. So get you a plastic rain cover. The other thing that I realized we needed, um, we had like a few, like a week or so after she had gotten, we had come home, um, my husband had gone back to work and I realized I needed to go to Target, you know, to get some things for, for her, some things that I didn't realize that I would need that I didn't get um, prior to her arrival and I had to take her with me and I didn't have any kind of a cover for her car seat. Now, you can cover um, a car seat with a blanket or whatever the case may be, but I wanted something where I could see her. Um, and so again, I'm going to put a picture up. Um, so I found on Amazon, it's um, a car seat cover. It's uh, You attach it by Velcro, so it's easy to put it on and take it off. Um, but it has a little window in it, a little mesh window. So you can see baby while they're in the car seat. Um, and so this is good for several things. One, when you shop in, baby sleep, whatever the case may be, have baby covered, you know, safe from, from germs somewhat. Um, it's great for that, but it's also great to keep people away from your baby, right? Um, you know, a lot of people like to come, oh, how's the baby and all of this stuff. She's covered. She has the window. You can see her. That's it. Right. So, um, the cover is definitely good for that too. Next thing I have is a sound machine. Now, the sound machine is something that I watched videos, right? Because it's a new day and age. I don't remember if the sound machine, machine the hatchet probably was around, um, five years ago when I had, um, Joshua, but we we didn't use a sound machine i didn't get a sound machine um so definitely now being more active on youtube i watched videos sound machines were the big thing the hatch was the thing right and so i bought the hatch i also bought um the smaller one to attach to her car seat yes i did uh oh sorry i bought the smaller one to attach to her car seat and girls it didn't work and I was so upset because the hatch has, you can see it right there on my um, my table. The hatch has good reviews. Babies love it. My baby don't love it. She doesn't. You know what she does love? She loves the shush sound. And I'm so upset because I could have bought the shusher. Like, they have, I know, right? That's the one you like? I know. And we have the other one, right? I know. So, um, she likes the shush sound. That sound is, um, the shush sound and, um, water, right? But here's the kicker. You know when you sleep and you hear water and it makes you have to pee, right? Um, I don't want to pee in the bed. And I'm not one that can, like, I need to listen to water. So, I don't put the water sound on the hatch. Um, we can but what we have to do ultimately is kind of um alternate the two <clears throat> so for a little while we can use the shush sound and then when we realize that she's stirring and that's not working as well we have to switch over to the rain so the hatch does have a rainstorm um it has a dripping water sound it has that on it but it doesn't have the shush sound so um for that, I would suggest what we did was we had an um, Amazon Fire tablet um, because we also needed to go with us, right? So the hatch is good for being at home, um, but it's not portable. And the portable machine that we had, <clears throat> it didn't have the shush sound on it. So those things would be great. Uh, you know, hatch, shout out to you and all the sound machines. It would be great if we could, um, if these machines were equipped for us to be able to download extra sounds. Uh, but so what we have to do when we're on the road is we either use the Amazon Fire tablet that we have for Joshua that he no longer uses or a cell phone. I have an old cell phone um, that I just charge up and uh, throw on the Wi-Fi, uh, hook it up to my phone's um, hotspot and we'll use that.
<clears throat> just so I don't have to use my phone because I need my phone. So there's that. Um, a sound. Whatever sound your baby likes, get you a sound because <clears throat> she does not like car rides. Again, it has to do with her just not liking to be in her car seat. So we need something to help soothe her. So we have to have the movements of the car and a noise. And that's the shush sound. So we needed the portable shush sound with it. Um, car camera. I showed this in one of my other videos. I'll put up um, a picture of it um, on this clip. But I love the camera that we have. Um, again, if you have a mirror, whatever, you just need something to, for you to be able to see your baby. Um, I watched some safety videos and the mirrors, um, depending on the type you get, um, they might have ones that have like the actual belt buckle that you can buckle onto the seat. And if it has that, I think that might be a little more secure. Um, but something that's secure that, God forbid, if you're in a car accident, it won't fly off and cause a hazard. And the um, camera that we have, it buckles on two ways. So it's um, secured that way onto the seat. Not to say that something couldn't happen or whatever the case may be. It's just a little more secure. Um, but it's real time, right? It's an actual camera. It has um, night vision on it. So even at night when there are no lights on in the car, we can see baby girl and just keep tabs on her um, when she's in her chair. So I absolutely love that. And it has a little screen and you just have the screen in the front of the car with you. Um, a rectal thermometer. Now, I do suggest that when you're in the hospital, you take all of the things, right? I'm sure uh, you've heard this several times before. If you are a mama, um, you've done this, right? First time moms, take all the stuff in the hospital. Take it with you, take it with you. Even the milk, even the milk, take it with you, right? Because you just never know. Um, so one of the things they gave us in the hospital that you also get in like baby safety kits, and we got one of those for um, at our baby shower, is a rectal thermometer. When babies are this young, you need to take their uh, temperature, right? Let's say baby gets sick, whatever the case may be. You want to take their temperature. Rectal uh, temperature is the best. It's the most reliable for them. Um, so that's why they suggest a rectal thermometer. If you take your baby to the hospital, they will take a rectal temperature, um, right? Sometimes they put it under their armpit, but I'd rather do a rectal. Um, it also can help baby go number two, um, right? And so if I feel like, all right, it's been a while, you need to poop, you can take the baby's rectal temperature, make sure you got a lot of, um, either Vaseline or whatever cream you use to put on baby's butt, have a lot of that on there, take the rectal temperature and that might help them, um, go to the bathroom, maybe. Pediatrician said it too, so. But it may not work for your baby. If it doesn't work for your baby then it doesn't work for your baby, right? Remember, these are just suggestions. I mentioned um, uh, milk. We brought home the milk. This is Similac. Um, <clears throat> we brought home the milk, and every time we go to the doctor's office, they'll say, oh, what kind of milk does she drink? I'll say, oh, she drinks the Similac. Yeah. They're okay. <clears throat> now, she doesn't really drink the Similac. Would we like her to? Um, I don't necessarily want her to do anything. Right? I want her to do whatever is good for her. Whatever you need, girl. Whatever you need. That's what I need you to do. Right? Um, so when I was in the hospital, um, I noticed fairly quickly that um breastfeeding hurt. And I wasn't sure why, because I was able to breastfeed Joshua, um, baby number two. I didn't breastfeed Elijah at all, he was formula fed. But <clears throat> I was able to free Joshua, no problem. And I wanted to do breastfeed again. I knew I wanted to do that. But it was hurting. Couldn't figure out why. And then there ended up being a day, uh, a night, where we were in the hospital. And baby girl didn't have any um, pee or poop for 24 hours. <coughs> and so, you know, we want her bodily, um, we want her organs to be working. We want all of the functions to be functioning, right? So, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> um, you want everything to be working. So I said, okay, then I'll, I don't mind supplement, supplementing her with formula. And that's what we did. We supplemented her um, with the Similac formula. And um, <clears throat> just to make sure we kept everything moving. She was peeing and pooping, doing everything she needed to do. Um, so for us... We wanted to make sure that she at least liked the nipple on the bottom, right? Because we know that we wanted her to take a bottom. I love breastfeeding. I love the bonding and all that. But I also need a break sometimes, right? Um, I can't do it all all the time. 
So we wanted to make sure she still took the bottles. So we took the milk. We brought it home. She was still drinking it. So we're like, all right, let's just keep it going. Um, if she's going to take the formula, then I don't mind supplementing breast and um, formula. But then <clears throat> there came a time when she stopped taking it. She just would not take, like, once my milk fully came in, it didn't come in really until we got home. Once my milk fully came in, she stopped taking the formula. Um, and she stopped taking the bottle, so we don't know what bottle she likes. I'm not going to recommend the bottle, but I do recommend milk because mama's middle of the night, especially if you're a first-time mom, middle of the night if your partner is with you. Um, even though you're breastfeeding, you might need a couple of extra minutes, hours of sleep, right? get you um some formula <clears throat> have whoever is with you feed a baby um it's definitely a great relief and the ones you get at the hospital and in the doctor's office are pre-made um so the next thing is some kind of a booger catcher so this is the nose freeder um <clears throat> the electric one because i also have the one where you have to suck it out yourself i needed all my air back because I lost all my air with Joshua sucking boogers and I just needed all my air back. So this time around we did upgrade and we got the um, electric one. Let me tell you what is the greatest. This guy. Oh my goodness. So before I got this and this is a purchase that and moms have mentioned this but this is something that we um that we bought after the fact i actually just got this maybe a week ago it's called the oogie bear this one is the oogie bear i have the um link in the description box so before i got this we were using like q-tips i would just take a q-tip because you think the q-tip is soft um it's not gonna hurt baby get in there and get the the boogers out i'm obsessed with getting boogers out of noses she's helping me record the video y'all i'm obsessed with getting the boogers out of noses right so i was using q-tips this though oh my goodness now it is plastic so you do want to be careful because you don't want to hook your baby nose but this thing it has like a little curve on it i don't know if you guys can see it, it has a little curve on the end this one is thicker and you just go in there real gently and you pull those boogers out the boogers you will get out with this thing oh my goodness it's, they're they're giant this thing right here pulls the boogers out all the way from the back, like the ones in the back, it gets them out. Now, I ain't telling you to stick this thing all the way in your baby nose. Usually, you know, when you can see the booger, you pull it out. Then you start pulling the rest of it, and we got the thing. It comes, it has this little um, case, too. So, it came with um, a pack of two. So, we leave one at home, and this one goes in the case in her, um, in her diaper bag. So, I've always been very scared to clip my baby's nails always um even as they get older like uh, like joshua i'm a, i'm okay now um but i'm always afraid to uh, clip baby's nails because i feel like i'm going to clip them so for elijah and joshua i did it because i had to but i was like if i could find anything else other than a nail clipper to help me clip baby's nails i need that in my life and that's where this comes in clutch i'm sure you guys have seen this I'm sure you've seen it. The girls, they have it. The girls are the reason why I got it, right? This thing is amazing. It also works on your nails, right? It's not just for, because you know babies, their nails are real soft. So it's kind of easy to, to clip or to file. This also works on your nails. Like I had, um, I chipped my, my nail um, and my nails have acrylic on them. And I use this because you know it gets sharp when you, when you chip it. I use this file, just file it down a little bit, and make sure it's signed until I get my nails done next time. And it works. So, um, <clears throat> I don't remember what this is called. I have the link in the description box. This is clutch when you want to um, clip baby's nails. And it's, it doesn't hurt them at all. It doesn't hurt at all. I can file her nails down and she's fine. All right. So, these things are in no particular order. Um, but the next things I'm going to mention have to do with like bed, lounge kind of a thing. Okay. So we have this. It is a wearable blanket. And it zips all the way um, around the bottom. This is clutch. We haven't used it much yet because it hasn't been um, so cold that we need to use the wearable blanket. But 
what I have done um, that has helped <clears throat> is in the mornings I take Elijah to the bus. And in the mornings now, since it's fall, it's a little chilly. So I throw her in her wearable blanket um, and we, we go out. As long as she has on long sleeves because it, um, it is sleeveless. So as long as she has on long sleeves, we're fine. So I'll either do that or um, I bought her... We, we got her this jacket. We got this from Amazon. So just throw her in the jacket. Either one is fine. The other thing. Now this is a little expensive. It's a little expensive. But the snuggle me. <clears throat> Remember? I had talked about being hands free. The snuggle me is definitely an assist now again my baby doesn't like to lay down and be by herself um too much but <clears throat> if she's asleep and i put her down she'll be down for a little bit the snuggle me is clutch for that put her in the snuggle me sometimes i'll lay it on the couch our couch is reclined so i'll recline the two chairs a little bit um <clears throat> so that way she can't roll off she's not rolling yet but you know just in case and then put the snuggle me there, lay her um, in the snuggle me, and she's good to go, um, at least for a little while. The other thing, a nursing pillow. Nursing pillow is clutch. This is what I was using to kind of prop her up when I said she was sitting there. She was propped up um, on the nursing pillow. Now, with the nursing pillow, you nurse with it, of course. It's helpful for that. You can be it, That can help to be hands-free. If, um, if you are breastfeeding <clears throat> and so I just put the pillow on, put her on once she's latched, I can do other things. So, um, she normally wants to eat when I'm eating, especially when it's like dinner time, right? Because dinner time is her nap time, depending on what time it is. Cause if we eat, I eat around, if we eat dinner around six, she wants to eat around that time too. So feeding her and then I can have my plate and eat real quick. Um, <clears throat> or sometimes we'll eat much later, like eight o'clock. Especially if it's a day where Elijah has a football game or something like that. Um, again, latch her on because that's her eat to sleep time. So latch her on and um, the pillow helps with that. Or if she just wants to be close, like when I'm editing a video. The nursing pillow. Nursing pillow is great. Um, so you can pop baby up, have them laying on their back <clears throat> in the nursing pillow. And you can have them do tummy time um, on it as well. So... Several different functions. You can buy covers for it, wash it, all the things. And it works out pretty well. Um, so I have a, I have a few more items. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to add outside of this. A cart. The So one of the things that um, has been big on social media are these carts, right? Um, and I'll put up a picture of a cart. Um, buy these carts from Target, Walmart, Amazon, whatever, and have them around the house. Now, I only have two. I have one in our bathroom, and I have one in the living room. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I have one in our bathroom and one in the living room. Um, and we have, like, pampers and wipes and butt cream and thermometer. The one in the bathroom has her, um, <clears throat> her bath stuff on it her tub um on it pampers right because once we take her out we get her ready um the one in the living room has like her medicine on it um an extra um nursing cover just in case we have company and i need to feed her um we usually leave the nail filer out there um the booger snatcher we usually leave that out there as well so those come in clutch right so you don't just so you don't have to get up and run to the room or run to the baby's nursery um to get the things that you need to take care of baby in that moment have a cart have the most essential things that you need in that cart um we have hand sanitizer on the one in the living room just in case we have guests or whatever the case may be they wash their hands first but you can also use the hand sanitizer afterwards so those definitely come in handy. Definitely get you one of those and load your um, baby things on there. Um, the next um, few things are like medicine, kind of, um, but not, I mean, gripe water is not really medicine. Um, but gripe water, get a gripe water. 
gripe orders clutch especially um if baby's a little fussy it could be gas right um that's what we learned about her she either needs to burp very often right so if i'm um breastfeeding i try to burp her in between breasts um i try to nurse her on each side so after she's still on one side i try to burp her um and then before i move her to the next side or especially um if your baby is breastfed i mean bottle fed one of the things that we learned when she was taking the bottle um, is burping frequently, right? Because when baby is um, eating from a bottle, they take in more air, right? Especially if like maybe the bottle's not all the way up, you forget, or you fall asleep, right? Because we fall asleep when we feed a baby. Sometimes that's just what it is. So if you're falling asleep and the bottle tilted a little bit and the baby's sucking in air or maybe the baby's latch to the nipple isn't the greatest and they suck in the air that way, um, whatever the case may be. One, they get more milk. Um, the milk, even if you have like a slow flow nipple, the milk has, it comes out faster than it does from the breast. Um, and the babies take in more air, air traditionally with, um, bottle feeding than with the breast. So burping them often, like, so when we feed her with a bottle, when she used to take a bottle, um, we would let her take like maybe an ounce and then burp her, give her another ounce and then burp her. At that time, it's only two ounces, maybe a half an ounce. Every half an ounce, we would burp her. Um, but sometimes you just, sometimes you tired and you can't just get the things down, right? And that takes it, um, that makes the feeding process a little bit longer. And you just need to feed baby so you can go to sleep, right? And then they'll have that one big burp and sometimes not. Gripe water is clutch. One, um, for the gas, uh, but two for upset stomach, right? And hiccups. So babies have an upset stomach or maybe you don't know what's wrong, try the gripe water, always helps. Stretching baby too, stretching the legs, let them get those toots out. But gripe water is clutch. Um, Vitamin D, so the one that I have here is one that the doctor prescribes. I don't know why they gave me a prescription for it, but vitamin D you can get over the counter, um, especially if you are nursing. If you're breastfeeding baby, you need um, to supplement that with vitamin D because breast milk doesn't have that um, vitamin D in it. Um, and then Tylenol, um, infant Tylenol. Um, so if you are getting your baby, um, if you are if you get your baby shots, right, you want to give your baby Tylenol before they get their shots. That helps with the pain. Um, fever, you can give baby Tylenol. Some people don't give their baby Tylenol at all. Um, whatever works for you and your household, I'm telling you what works for me and mine. Um, and what works for me and mine is not up for debate, right? We do what works for us and you do what works for you. So if you don't like Tylenol, if you don't like gripe water, don't use it. Those are things that worked for us though. Um, oh, and then the last thing that I have in her diaper bag, Clorox wipes. Um, the to-go Clorox wipes. I have those. I got them from Dollar Tree. You can get them from Dollar Tree. You can get them from, um, Target. Uh, wherever um, but I have those because sometimes when you go into um, a supermarket they're they're um, they don't, I don't know if it's Clorox wipe but, but they're cleaning wipes for the um, carts sometimes they're out pop out my Clorox wipe you need to wipe something down or whatever the case may be in this day and age you need the Clorox wipe so I have these swaddles um, just like the blanket kind of swaddle um, but she didn't really like being swaddled <clears throat> once she got home like, she liked the things in the hospital. She liked the milk in the hospital. She liked the bottle in the hospital. But then when she get home, it's like, you don't want these things. And assist. We need you to have these things because we need to be sane. Right? Like, I need sleep. Um, I need hands-free. I need you to sleep. Right? Like, we need the things. But once we got home, she didn't like the things. So, we didn't swallow, swaddle her much. But these come in clutch as burp cloths right um i'm big on especially if we allow somebody else to hold her just have your coat your clothes covered right everybody has a perfume or cologne and um baby skin is very sensitive and even me right if i put on um perfume when we go out or something like that i don't want her on my clothes directly especially just be out and about so these are big it's like an actual blanket so if you need to you can open that thing up and cover up your whole shirt and then hold the baby right so um just alternatives and they hold a lot of milk too so when baby spits up um these are really good so i have um, I think I had a three pack, so I just have one on my cart in the living room, uh, one in her bed, um, in our bedroom, and then I have one in her diaper bag. 
excuse me and then these bags now I didn't have disposable diaper bags when um, I had my other two children right when I had my other two kids I did it like how everybody else had done it before me right we that's back when we still had plastic bags plastic bags were still in right so have a bunch of plastic bags go to the supermarket make sure you hold on to those plastic bags and you use those those stinky diapers right you throw them in the in the plastic bag put it in the garbage right and then you take the garbage out now they have these disposable ones and i'll put a link to the ones that we got off of amazon it's like a million it feels like it's a million but these um come in clutch especially for them stinky joints like oh my gosh she's had a few blowouts oh my goodness i don't think i ever experienced a blowout with joshua i don't remember him having a blowout where like we have to put the whole baby in the tub put the baby in the tub cut the clothes off like we just that's what we got to do i don't remember experiencing that with joshua but this one my goodness we've had We've had two blowouts so far, and one time she pooped so bad, I didn't even realize it was on me. I was just holding her. I was like, all right, you know, get it out would be good. No, sis. She had it on everything. But these come in clutch because they have, they're scented as well. Um, so that's nice to have. Um, other than that, Pampers and Wipes. I never see anybody mention Pampers and Wipes, right? That should have been my number one. Um, and I think it's just because um, it's like Pampers and Wipes come with the baby kind of a thing, <laughs> right? Like, that's, duh, you need that. Um, but I think it's cool to mention Pampers and Wipes, right? And so if you are a first-time mom and you're watching this video and you are preparing um, to put together your list of things for your registry and there are just some things you want to make sure you have in your registry, right? Some of the things we put on our registry are things that uh, we would like to have. Um, they're more aesthetic things. It's not necessarily a need. Um, it's just something that we want, right? Um, but you're um, a first-time mom and you're thinking about things that you absolutely need um, to put onto your registry, um, I suggest highly pampers right now a lot of people sometimes they buy pampers um when they come to baby showers that's probably something that you're going to get an abundance of i would just on my registry i like to guide people's thinking a little bit right because sometimes people go out buy pampers and it is what it is i would like people to buy pampers at different stages right so have three boxes of stage one three boxes of stage two three etc right um because you go through the stages that that's what that's what you need um she's been in size one pamper the longest right she was a newborn for a hot minute um but she likes to eat so we didn't stay in newborn long so we didn't buy that many um newborn diapers but the size ones we had two big boxes that our family brought us from costco or bj's um, and those are the pampers that she's in the wipes. We bought wipes from BJ's. We're still using um, that box of wipes and we we use the wipes. We have Joshua. Joshua's four. He still needs wipes every now and then his hands get dirty us hands, you know, like so you just those things pampers and wipes nobody ever really mentions in these must have videos because it's kind of like common sense, right? You need pampers for a baby like the baby needs pampers, right? Um, but I think one thing to mention in the must have um, where pampers are concerned are for you to kind of spread out um, the sizes for the, the pampers so that way you have baby covered for um, a long time. Oh, you need something to put that baby clothes in. That's one thing. Something to put the baby clothes in. I'll put a link to a picture and a link to um, the item that we got from um, Amazon. We put it on our registry. Our registry was on Amazon. We put it on our registry. So just something to put the baby's clothes in, right? Um, you will get clothes at your baby shower. You're going to buy clothes. Baby needs clothes, right? Um, <clears throat> so something to put your baby stuff in. And a bed. A bed for baby to sleep in. Um, Co-sleeping is not suggested, right? You do what works for you and your family. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I am not a pediatrician um, or anything of that sort. But a bed. Um, we have a pack and play. I'll put a picture <clears throat> now pack and play has actual mattresses which is dope um so it's much more comfortable for baby uh so that is clutch as well i'll put a picture to and a link for the mattress that we have 
All right, family, I think that's it. If there's anything else that I can think of, um, I will come back and let you know. Um, but if not, those are, those are the things that were essential. Um, just thinking about the beginning, right? She's almost three months now. Um, so just thinking about the things that we absolutely need, um, you know, to make sure that she's safe and well and all of those things. I just wanted to mention those things. I think she's asleep. Anything other than that, like I said, is aesthetic. The bows that we have. Um, a satin pillowcase, right? Satin pillowcase. I also have a, I had bought it for Joshua, but I'm going to use it for her instead. I had a, I have a, um, a satin bonnet for her as well. I'll link it, um, in the description box. But if you noticed in the clips before, her hair, her hair, the hair, her hair in the back of her head is still pretty full. What we experienced with Joshua was, um, his hair was just gone. He had like the whole chunk of the middle of the back of his head was just, it was just gone. Um, and so we wanted to try to do something differently where baby girl is concerned to make sure that she doesn't have that because you know, because you know, babies, they lay on their backs, right? Backs, um, for the first couple of months of their life, right? You can't really lay them. You can lay them on their stomach to sleep, but only if you're awake and watching. So, you know, all that friction on the back of their head. So what we did was we got a, a pillow. We had these, these really cheap pillows from like, was it Target? I think it was Target, but really, really cheap pillows. And they ended up going really extremely flat. So um, I put the pillowcase on that pillow. And so she lays on the pillow um, when she sleeps. And it has the, the satin. So it's not snagging on her hair or anything like that. So hopefully that makes all of the difference um for for her and for her hair journey right because we we go through this hair journey um so yeah so the satin pillowcase i think that it would make a difference or if you can find i haven't found it and I, I, so i haven't used it but if you can find satin sheets for um baby's mattress for the um pack and play that might be an option too all right family for real though this is it i'm leaving yes it is see you later